I was just uh, reflecting a bit on my, how my life was like before I met the training, and it's uh, it's quite precious to get the opportunity to really look at how my life was actually like before the training. And um, I remember being a child and just loving being a child, loving everything about it. And I told my parents, I, I don't want to grow up because this is great. Lo <laughs> life is good. And then uh, I remember like moving into the teenage years and and uh, I saw my sister go through uh, her teens and I saw that like the everything that came up for her and the drama that would come up and and so I felt like okay I'm prepared I'm prepared for the te my teenage years and I I know it will be dramatic but I didn't actually experience that so much so I was like oh, okay I tested it out did the drama thing and like no nah, actually this doesn't fit for me but when I get got to the age of 19, I think, that's when I just started experiencing a lot more negative data. I started experiencing, like, because I just ex expected that when I grow up, when I'm an adult, and whenever that happens, I don't know, but when I'm an, an adult, then everything will just fall into place. And, like, l I thought that, okay, so my life should look like uh, um, get, an, uh, get an ed education, get a good job, uh, get the um, boyfriend, husband, children, house, you know, like the whole uh, array. Um, and, but more and more I just discovered that this wasn't really how it played out for me. Uh, so I started all of these things, like I started with the education, but in that process of t uh, having an education, I, the o like so much uh, self-doubt was arising because I would just, I just never felt good enough. I never felt that whatever I was trying to do was good enough. And it, it was just the endless stream of uh, self-criticism and self-hatred. And why, why am I not good enough? Why isn't this working for me? Why, why is not uh, life not turning out the way I want it to turn out. Why am I experiencing negative data instead of positive? I'm doing everything right. <laughs> and um, uh, and I would just completely, like even if I got positive, neg uh, positive feedback from my tutors at school or my friends or family, it just wouldn't stick. Like nothing that was positive that would, uh, was said to me, it just wouldn't stick because I didn't believe it. I just believed in the negativity of my data streams. And uh, luckily, uh, just when I got to the end of my education, I, I, I was introduced to open intelligence. And it was just at the point of, I felt like, uh, I don't know what to do anymore because now my, my experience is mostly negative. Uh, and the, when I was introduced to open intelligence and, and, the, and the practice of short moments, I just, I found it so incredible that in the midst of all the negativity, I could just completely relax and experience complete ease and openness and relief, relief that there is something about me that is not dependent on data streams being positive, neutral or negative, it, it's just completely at ease at any moment, always, always on. And then for me that was just a really powerful recognition. And then I, I thought, well, I have to get to know this more because it was just an instant. Uh, so I started listening to talks and just getting that constant reminder of relaxing again and again and again. And and really getting to know that quality about myself. And I also decided I, I really want to go for this because this is the only thing I've tried that is actually working for me th in, in my own experience. So I did the 12 empowerments, which gave me such a great opportunity to really look at how have I been treating uh, the data streams in my life. And I could see, for example, with the self-hatred and self-criticism, how I'd try to avoid it, but at some point it just like it, it wasn't possible to avoid it anymore because it was so strong uh, and then I would try to uh, 
uh, replace it, I would tell myself, I love myself, I love myself, I love myself. <laughs> you know, like maybe this will just, you know, turn it around and maybe I'll start appreciating myself instead of hating myself. And then uh, I would just collapse into the self-hatred and... Uh, uh, but yeah, I really got to look at like the mechanisms of how I'd been um, treating my data as completely real, and then and then it became clear. I I really do have a choice in every moment with every data stream. So I can either go into the like all of these mechanisms of indulging, avoiding, and replacing the data, or I can stop for a minute and just completely relax and recognize open intelligence. And that just supported me so much in not going into the descriptions again and again, like instead of just continue with the descriptions of ho how bad I was, I could just relax. And more and more what I, s I see in my life is that the, the endless negativity about myself, it doesn't come up in the same way anymore because it's, it, it comes up and then it self-releases. I rely on open intelligence and relax. And and it self-releases. I, I don't have to deal with it. I don't have to engage with the stories about how I'm not good enough or anything like that. And that also, like in the in terms of my relationships, I don't have to, you know, go into like try to find support and s like s tell my friends or family about how bad I think I am or and try to. F get some confirmation that I'm I'm actually good enough I don't have to do that whole thing at all so relationships it's just so much easier I can just really enjoy my family I can enjoy my friends we can have a good time without going into big elaborations of this or that and it's just such a, a relief and my life before and after is like night and day uh, really when I reflect on it it's night and day and it's it's uh so now it's day it's very good <laughs> 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 so i'm just really really grateful to be here and for this training and all the incredible support that is available here <laughs>